Speaker Pelosi's salary is $220,000 a year, yet her net worth is $105 million. How did she get so rich in office? Now, her husband is a hedge fund guy. I think he's a hedge fund, or he's at least an active trader that has been placing, you could say, bets right before pivotal legislation happens in this country. For example, this recent chip bill. He bought a bunch of NVIDIA stock and sometimes, or options. A lot of times it's options, so it's the option to buy a stock at a certain price, which is even worse because it basically hardly, like very much implies like, we're gonna exercise these options when some favorable news comes out and the stock jumps. There's a chip bill that just went to the floor that Pelosi, uh, I guess, had pushed through or she was like pivotal to pushing through or whatever. And like a week ago, or maybe even a few days ago, her husband bought one to five million either in shares or options on those shares. Interesting, okay? Now, if you actually look at his trading history and you look at all the legislation that might have taken those stocks up a little bit, or even down on the reverse side, like selling stock. I think they even have history of selling stocks before some bad news comes out about the government. This is like, this is what's crazy to me. This is blatant insider trading. It's like, oh, well, it's the husband. Okay, so like the husband and the wife don't talk. Like, give me a break. She's worth 105 million. You know how hard, it, I mean, it would be impossible to become worth 105 million on a $220,000 a year salary. It's impossible. You go, I mean, you work 100 years and after taxes and living expenses, you literally... If you're lucky, you probably have a few million. This is blatant insider trading. And the government will go after like New York Wall Street people or like even some just guy like Michael Burr even when they went after him because he asked some questions about the Fed. Like they'll go after everyday people and they'll try to make an example out of them. And you have blatant insider trading happening at the Congress level and the political level. Like this shit is, happens every single day. Like it's it's actually insane how rampant this is and how it's even legal for Congress people to, to do this. It's crazy. And like some congressmen are proposing bills that would make it so Congress can't hold stocks, but who's gonna vote for that exactly? Every single one of these efforts get into political office and they garner up money and power and then they leave and they, they pretty much didn't do anything good, like destroyed lives and spent fake money and did all these things, right? They thought like they pretended they did something good or whatever, but then they leave and they get out of office and they just go like live their lives somewhere else or they just globe trot. Like it doesn't even matter what they do in this country because they have enough financial security and wealth to leave it and go live somewhere else. This entire thing, utter corruption.